Oh, I'm so stinky. Oh, what am I to do? What am I to do? Um, let us check the forge. Aha! Aha! As I thought, the way that the autosave work, it only save after you do a challenge. So any upgrade we did in the last episode was not paid attention to. Ooh, 100% critical hit damage. Ooh, blades per throw, special mechanism, hidden blades. I like this, plus 100% critical hit damage. Absolutely, to get those crit hits. Okay, let me make sure I've got the, epo the epoch, the items, the weapon systems I'm looking for. Yes, that is a good combination there. I am all set to wreak havoc on the next core zone, which will be the Hanging Gardens. Visit Forge to switch weapons and find best combinations. The dead welcome him with open arms. This is my old home. All the pebbles here that I knew and loved, all my comrades gone. Everything is coated with ash. These folks never saw the calamity coming, but someone did. Someone close. Who could have seen that calamity and not say what was happening? Bastards! I bet I know what has taken these poor pebbles. Oh, I squished the birds. How bad of me to do. I bet I know what took their lives. They're all coated with ash. Like him. What? There's person down there. Hey, you, over here. Hello, hello. You not see me? Uh, we've got to get his attention by getting closer, I feel. Oh, he looked like not happy guy. But I'm not so happy either after seeing that nothing's left after this calamity. Get out of my way, you flame-breathing asshole. Oh, jeez. I think I know what take these poor pebbles. This screams lava to me all over. You're still alive. Counter your ass away. <sighs> I think the answer is clear, Pebbles. Ash falling from the sky. The Pebbles all locked in sarcophagi of some kind of ash in this. <sighs> I'm sure this is the work of lava. How sad. The Jawsons. Oh, how sad as well. But this must be the work of lava. I've seen its work on my homes in Minecraft. I am almost certain that this is the work of some kind of volcanic eruption. What man is that? Oh, there was an elephant squirt in that bucket. What a rip-off, not even notice, he pop out. The core survives as well. Let's take them long distance so we not have to accidentally destroy any of the villagers. Out of here. Drink it up. Got to reach the core without destroying the pebbles. We must, there must be some way I can get in there without having to destroy them. Oh no, I am going to have to destroy them. At least one person. There we go. Phew. I want to at least respect them. 
wanted to respect their lava tombs. What if he not agree? He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. No hiding, he's in the room. Folks like him ain't never been a common sight in Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. The kid and I introduce ourselves in kind. Both to him and to each other for the first time. So there are different classifications of purples. The white-haired purples, like us Celondians, and then this guy, Zolf. Tell me about this crest, what it mean to you? For Zolf, Ceylandia was like a second home. He's real worried about his first home too. Far to the east. Yes, I wonder if his home is existing or if the calamity take it as well. situation. We may not have touched the stars, but it no matter, we not get to the stars, we don't have... Right, of course, we want to return the core. We not have ability to fly to stars, who cares if they're untouched? Yes, things are looking up for us. We have new comrade at the Bastion, and we just claimed another core. So do we want Memorial or Lost and Found? I think Lost and Found is better building. Oh, maybe that's what they're called. They're called Fragments. Okay, so Fragments are coming by the bucket full and he is ready to spend his in order to get uh, some new abilities some new weapon upgrades like this so uh, this would be upgrade for the war machete definitely want that and unfortunately we not have enough monies for all these different ales but uh, these are how you get different perks in uh, the distillery so health tonics will restore even more uh, the whale ales giving uh, the damage using sacred skills 25% boost let's go with the longhead liquor so we can buy for now but now you know why it's important to get the fragments of currency in this game let us head over to uh, yes, the forge, to see what we can upgrade. Oh, nothing yet. After we get uh, some more monies, we can upgrade this. Ooh, attacks cripple pebbles. Or they do a 20% critical hit chance. Well, what is this? Critical hit chance, critical hit damage. What is difference? I don't know. Not certain at all. All I know is we need more monies. We track down a couple Well, that is all fine and good, but we're not doing course in this uh, another episode. We will get more core, but for now we go to Trapper Shingle, a proven grounds for the Fang Repeater. No place better than Trapper Shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Trappers have to tread real carefully, else they get nasty fall. They train themselves by clearing out the targets while not clearing out the floor. Yes, on this level you have to take hold of the fang repeater. Use the shift button to quickly eliminate them. And be mindful of your reload time. The floor is constantly falling out from your fats. So don't let it get caught up with you. Because if you do, you'll be sent to the next part of this stage and not have a chance to shoot these targets. Don't unload your entire clip into an enemy. Make sure, I think just two shots will do the trick. Make sure you've got plenty of ammo for all the enemies you come across. Maybe you want to try getting the 8 ammo capacity item. 
It might help you out here quite a bit. Give you extra ammo. I like the faster reload personally. But that is what happens. You fall off the bridge, it falls too fast for you. You notice it's getting a lot quicker as it goes. Then can't reach it. Too long away. So third place, not bad. At least we got something nasty for the Fang Repeater, so we can upgrade it if we so choose. And if you're discontent with the third place price, you want to try again, hit that button. To think a rickety place like the five, so little else did. Hit that button that is over there and uh, it will let you restart the mission. So you can try getting better challenge stats and also go for higher, better prices. Okay, people, some Vladimir say, remember to like the video if you find it cool. Go check out my other series like Minecrafts and subscribe to channel if you really want to be up updated and upgraded on all the different things we do with the Bastion. Okay, people, see you in future.